fixed another issue with the Telecolor Zenith real easy and I'll show you what the symptom was uh, the symptom was in a previous video but uh, here's the control that fixed it right here and I'll advance the signal see what it does and it was affecting the other TV so maybe some tweaking in the other stages or will help or something like that but I don't see the interference like I was when I just turned on the set you get all these great recipe cards as well. Tell me what else I'm getting. Yeah, you're getting two six ounce ramekins. You're going to get the pie dish, which is right over here. Two mixing bowls, one and a half, two and a half quart bowls, two round bakers, one and two quart. For some reason, it still blanks out on this one when I turn to channel 13 on the Zenith. I don't know why. All right, just to log this repair. What I did was uh, tune some of these controls. The first one I tuned that uh, affected the picture on both of these TVs was uh, this one right here. Yeah, there, there it is. And uh, then I tuned some of these a little bit to get some of the buzz out of the audio because I, I noticed that's been going on too and this one too so that's pretty much I guess it's pretty much got it for right now it's just too bad these controls are inside the TV instead of around the back or something like that I believe if I'd uh, try I, I think if I was the engineer Zenith, I think maybe I would have figured out a way to mount this chassis, you know, much like this tuner is up through here. Maybe even down beside it. I think it would could possibly have made servicing a little bit easier and make the and of course make the components exposed so basically all the solder joints would be next to the CRT so thanks for watching and more to come later and if you're wondering I am still waiting on the transistors for the Philco GTE so hopefully get those in a few days I guess <laughs> thanks for watching and more to come later and God bless